I don't know, he's curious about everything, mm-hmm. tools and, you know, um, I think he's going to be my first helper, actually, if I keep pushing right, this way. Right, right, right. Um, definitely setting this foundation for him um, is going to, uh, I don't know, it's just going to bring my last name out more. Right, that last right, name. right. Um, I think he's going to take it to the next level if I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, he bu- I forgot. He built, if it, it uh, any of you that were at Ditch the Band this year, he built the hashtag wall from oh, yeah. scratch. Yep. And Carter was there making me nervous as all get out. <laughs> and then what you handed him like a piece of cardboard, a couple of nuts and bolts, and then uh, uh, right. <laughs> he's sitting down, literally taking the nuts and bolts and putting them through the cardboard. And I'm like, OK, that if that's somebody and, and screwing on the bolt on back, right. it's like if that's not somebody to want to be just like they daddy. <laughs> All right, he, he's just he's something. I love that kid. Hey, everybody! This is Sita and Garrett Lash. Whoop whoop! <laughs> <laughs> the husband and wife team of From Idea to Invention, a podcast for intra- entrepreneurs. Inventors. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just created a new word. Entrepreneurs. Inventpreneurs. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> inventors and small businesses. And we are here today talking with Chris Bailey. Hey. Are you of, are we of Indo Kennel? Are we of K and B Custom Woodworks? All of the above? All of the above. All the above. All I got right. you. I got you. So um we had to bring Chris on. Did you did you want to go? No, you no, go you're ahead. looking at me like I mm. want to say something. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we um, let me put this away because the Facebook marketplaces. These people are working my nerves. Tell me about it. Um, but speaking of Facebook marketplace, yeah, uh, yeah that's a good ding, segue. Ding, 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 Even ding, they worked ding, your nerves, right? Your segue. Right. <laughs> if it wasn't for Facebook marketplace, uh, we would have never met Chris Bailey. That's right. Correct. So. What happened was, <laughs> <laughs> I have an addiction to Facebook Marketplace, especially when I can't sleep. Mm. Maybe this is what we need to have Jaden do when, what? He, when he can't sleep, is just scroll through Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> but he's not allowed to buy anything. We have a son well, who just has like a little, stuff and right, send it to you right, in the morning. Right. We have a son who has a little bit of insomnia. But um, <laughs> so I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace one evening while my husband is sleeping and I'm trying to be quiet but um I saw this custom dog kennel and I was like oh my god I got to have one so I saw one and then I went I don't know I don't know if I went to your website or went to something else and then started seeing all the other ones right and I was like oh my okay this is some serious talent. And then I saw the price and I was like, um, I think I <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, can I get one tomorrow? And then did I text you or did we I text. We, text? Yeah, we text? Okay. So I text you and you were talking all that proper English. So I thought you were white actually. Uh, I tried. You right. Know. <laughs> <laughs> all the texting was coming. Yes, ma'am. And I, I'll be right it's back all, to you. And all business. <laughs> right, it was, all he business. had it. He would, he did that code switch. Golly and gee. right. Golly G <laughs> was in there. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, he's a nice guy or whatever. But then I think I went to your Instagram page. Okay. Then it was, and I was like, and he's a bro. <laughs> oh, I've got to. Let's get it. Right. Let's, let's get, get it, it on and popping. When <laughs> I was like that. So then he made our dog, our, our first dog, well, up until a couple of weeks ago, he made Shine a cage. Not mm-hmm. a cage, a custom kennel. A custom That's kennel. Right. Yes. So we'll have to show because I need, uh, we'll, uh, Isaac definitely. will cut in Shine's custom kennel picture. So once we got that and he came over to the house to deliver it and then the natural talker that he is. We just started talking about anything and everything would. Right. right. And then it was like, you can do this? You can do what? You can do what? And then mm. I started, Then, but that's when we only knew about Indo Kennel. Right. We right. didn't know about the second Instagram page, that's which is. Can't the, be custom woodworks. Right. right. Which it was, before it was, it wasn't called that. 
was Yoshi Chipwood. Yeah, Yoshi Chipwood. Yoshi Chipwood. It still is. It still is. Okay. So right. at Yoshi Chipwood or KB Cus no, or Indo Kennel. Correct. So when you go to uh Instagram. Yoshi, yeah, Instagram and you go to Yoshi Chipwood, then the, it's just like the gates opened on this man's creativity. The stuff that I was seeing, because I had a, I had a great uncle. Right. And this is not about me. Eventually, I'm gonna let you talk. Oh, cool. <laughs> right. You know, it's, 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 it's at fine. least tell it's, everybody about who he is. <laughs> right. Right. Well, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead and read his bio. Because so, I am gonna just like like oh, be like, and now it's a rap and Chris has to say. So, we go. <laughs> so, so Chris is a uh, 30, 33 year old single dad uh, of a five year old son um, from the eastern shore of Virginia, and uh, even though growing up in, as he says, the low class. The class we all grew up in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start from the bottom. Oh, right. That's, that's where it was. <laughs> he grew developing a uh, the trade of building, and it started all in high school for him, and uh, he's always had the ambition uh, to take his life to the next level, and uh, he had a lot of struggles along his path, uh, but gaining success um, was key to staying strong and having a child uh, pushed him even harder uh, to go after his dream. He earned the success and earned his success uh, to be sure he had a foundation to continue um, on that journey and, and doing all that he could, uh, not just for him, uh, but uh, for his last name and his and, legacy and his legacy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so God put him on this earth uh, to fulfill his purpose and to be a builder for Jesus. Amen. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. But the church Crazy. say amen. amen, right? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let you speak, and then I'll talk about my uncle in a minute. But <laughs> okay. So okay. So when did you know? Because this is not Chris has a talent that is not book talent. This is seriously like in his DNA. The stuff that he can come up with. He ain't reading no manual. Matter of fact. I bought a, bought a whole bunch of Ikea stuff that I needed him to put together. And I'm like downloading videos and pamphlet directions and all this stuff. And he's like, I got this. I'm like, now are you sure? Because Ikea can break up a marriage and put you <laughs> that is true. in the mental that hospital. Are you sure you don't need this direction? But he's like, no, I got this. So when did you know or when all did right, it click so that like God gave you something he ain't gave everybody else? So I'm going to start, you know, from the very beginning. Okay. Like. You know, growing up on the Eastern Shore of Virginia, obviously, you know, my dad, he was a, a carpenter, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Right, yes. Yeah. So he was a carpenter and, you know, I'm young and I, I just wanted to, I guess, be like him, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but of course, growing up there, you know, I always see commercials on TV and uh, always saw ITT Tech commercials. Right. And uh, I see this commercial of a guy sitting on a roof and he's like, are you tired of the heat and all that type of mm -hmm, stuff? Mm -hmm. and he's like, join this school. And, you know, I kind of you know, went towards that direction mm -hmm. of, you know what, I want to be a drafter now. I want to design the homes, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, just seeing those commercials every day, they were, you know, motivating me to, you know, go to school and uh, and learn that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I took up some vocational classes. Um, I took three years of engineering, mechanical, and architectural drawing. Um you know, just with that, you know, I learned a lot, mm -hmm. you know, um, I still had some credits to, to earn in a way. I mm -hmm. had some, you know, time to take up. Mm -hmm. So I took to the, the next class over, which was building trades. Oh, right? okay. And I, um, shout out to my teacher, uh, Mr. Curtis Taylor, who taught me a lot. He okay. called me too short, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> but, um, he's like, you always too cutting short. the wood too short, <laughs> but, um, it's, it's all good though. Um, I learned a lot and, um, you know, again, it's crazy how it all works. Mm -hmm. You know, I figure, you know, if I can design a house, I want to learn how to build it now, okay. right? Um, the crazy thing about it was the the class next door to that was heating and air, mm -hmm. right? There's really no jobs like that on East on Eastern Shore Park, right? Mm -hmm. And um, anyway. I didn't care about that class or whatever. I took my three years of building trades uh -huh. and, um, I, you know, I got out of school and, you know, when I go to find work, there's no work, oh, you know? Okay. So there's the, no work for a building right. trade. Okay. So I, uh, <laughs> I end up going to a heat and air company 
right? Mm -hmm. And um, they hired me. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know a lick of nothing about that trade. Mm -hmm. But they hired me, and, you know, I just worked my way up from there. You know, I remember making, I, th I think it was $8 an hour, mm -hmm. right? And um, I ended up working all my way up. I, I ended up moving to Virginia Beach side, the Hampton Road side, mm -hmm. and I ended up joining another heat and air company, and mm -hmm. I ended up making a lot more money, mm -hmm. you know? Um just leaving the whole building trades thing alone, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, somehow it landed me over here, you know, just my knowledge of heating and air and something just wasn't sitting well with me. Ah. You know, it was something deep inside yeah. telling me that, it's hey man. The Holy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I, um, I remember I was in Texas. I was in Waco, Texas. I was one of the lead guys there at Baylor University. Okay. Uh, and it was kind of hard, you know, me being so young, being a guy to point fingers and tell people what to do, uh -huh. you know. Um, but anyway, I came back to Georgia and um, started. I ended up starting, you know, new. starting this, you know, thank God to my neighbors, you know, because they the ones that, you know, kept me busy. You okay, know, well, um, we're going to talk about that when we're going to talk about the whole transition. Okay, and when you were okay. like, you know what? Um, I think the Lord is calling me in a different direction. Yeah, well, that's what it was. You okay. Know? That's what it was. All right. So when we come back, Garrett's going to lead the conversation. I'm just going to be quiet. Yeah. And you can believe that if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you made me <stop>. stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be right back with Eye to Eye. <laughs> Hey there, podcast family. This is Garrett and Sita, the founders of Puff Cuff and your host for Idea to Invention. Are you a host and, and I'm a hostess? You're a hostess. Okay. But there is no Twinkie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, that's what 24 years of marriage knows, because that's where her head was going. <laughs> like a creamy center. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all like. Y'all stupid, though. No, we're, we're just 24 years of marriage in. Right. It's crazy. In it to win it. Right. So <laughs> so we're here with um, our boy, Chris Bailey. That's right. Of Endo Kennel and Yoshi Chipwood. Um, you can find him on Instagram and see all the great pics of this brilliant young man's creations. Um, you can either go at... Yoshi Y O S H I Chip C H I P Wood W O O D or at Indo I N D O K E N N E L Indo Kennel yes and see how talented uh, this young brother is because I really appreciate it guys I really too. appreciate it you well you know what <laughs> we only talk about folks that we like that, that's right that's <laughs> <laughs> that we like and we know right. what they can deliver <laughs> right. Right. And so Chris, I mean, in the last segment, was uh, explaining to us his transition from 
in high school, he started, you know, and getting the bug of uh, of the building trade. Went to ITT Tech. I did actually. Right. I Went did. to ITT Tech and um, took up uh, the the trade and, and the classes that they're at mm-hmm. ITT Tech. And next door to his classes were an HVAC that he really wasn't interested in. Did you take the class though? Yeah, did you take the I'm class? I'm sorry. And I'm in sorry. HVAC, did you So, create? again, uh, this was all in high school, how it generated. Oh, okay. okay. So, well, but we're not going to go all the way back. Yeah, we're not going to go all the way back. No, we're not going to go back. We're not going to go back. So, of, co- of course, you know, um, I moved to the Hampton Road side. And mm-hmm. I I went to ICT Tech, and I couldn't get in, right? No. The financial ah. aid didn't want to kick in for me. So oh, I know. <laughs> we all been so, down that uh, road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no um, funny. Right. I had to that get back. That was after to, President Clinton. <laughs> he was just a mere puff when we I were I had in. to get back to <laughs> what I what I was working with or, mm-hmm. or knew, which was the heating and air. And, um, you know, so that's what I went with, the heating and air. And while I was working, you know, later on down the line in that heating and air trade, mm-hmm. you know, I said, you know what? I want to just try ITT Tech again. Mm-hmm. And I went and I got in. Okay. And oh, that's okay. when I started, you know, attending. Gotcha. That, yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's how it all happened, you know. And it was just one of those things, like, when I was done with that, it was like, man, this is not what I want to do. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. Uh, but you stayed doing doing I, HVAC yeah, I, I up can, until, for how many years did you do HVAC? Oh, man, I started young. So I would say I was doing HVAC for 13, 14 years. You ain't even got that many years in your life. Come on now. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I started young. I wow. was going at it. I was going like, got it. your permit, That's good, started, I, got I, your I, driver's license, yeah. and started doing HVAC. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then HVAC brought you to Georgia. That is correct. So, okay, so what happened when you got to Georgia? When I got to Georgia, I was uh, working for a company, and um, again, they shipped me off to Texas. Oh, and, wow. And um, I, you know, I just moved to Georgia, you, you know? Okay, so you went Georgia, Texas. Right. Back to Georgia. Correct. No, well, I just moved to Georgia. And okay. this company, however, you know, they sent me to Texas to, mm-hmm. you know, be this lead guy there. Uh-huh. And I, you know, I just haven't been back home to even hang up a picture, you know, oh, on my wall. Oh, I got you. Okay. So, you know, I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it anymore. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I came back and again, you know, thanks to my neighbors, they kept me busy. They always saw my garage door open and, uh. The saws going and this, dust flying. That's what they saw. Mm-hmm. And, uh, again, they kept me busy. Like, mm-hmm. hey, can you build me a table or door or whatever the case may be? And, okay. <clears throat> so. The thing that gets me, though, okay, because yeah. all of us can go to, you, you know. You can get some book learning. No, but no, no what mm. I'm saying is you can go to Walmart, Target, Marshalls, okay. Ross, whatever, and get a table right. or get, you know, go to Home Depot and get a door. But the thing is your level of talent and what you build right. made, gave you way more, what you produced, people felt way added so much more value than just I can go to the right. store and get that. That's correct. All my stuff that I do, of, of course, it's custom, you know, mm-hmm. everything is custom made. Um, you tell me what you want, you know, you give me the size and, you know, I, I'm going to I'm going to do it. And know? literally, I mean, literally it is. Chris, I saw this picture on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> can you build this for me? Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. so so you need me to find the website for all the. Di- no, no, no. I got the picture. I'm good. And I'm just, I, we should go down all the stuff that Chris has built just for us since we've known. And you at the, we at the house like every other week. Every much. other week. Every, every, <laughs> it's, it's starting to be every week. But yeah, it's <laughs> he's that good. Yes, he's that good. But, um, okay, so you started doing, you let HVAC go in what year? Uh, 2016. Okay, so you've been letting the Lord lead you with custom woodworking since 2016. So a good three right. solid years. Right, right. And just, just you know, despite working for these celebrities right here, <laughs> 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 just t- just rattle off a few of the people that you've built items for oh, in man. the Atlanta area. Well, I that mean, you they, can they say. come, they come all over. Uh, um, just in, in the Atlanta area itself. Um. Of course, we have the TI with the Trap Museum, mm-hmm. of course. Um, what did you put in there? 
I've done a lot. Can you lot. say what you put in there? Uh, I've, yes. The, the uh, <laughs> hidden doors and all. <laughs> in the I've, vaults. <laughs> I've done, I did. I've done the, his closet in the Trap Museum mm-hmm. and amongst other work, you know, the lighting, um, setting up different, you know, uh, just different items mm-hmm. inside that, mm-hmm. that museum. Um, I've done work for a Diamond ATL. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done work for Ty Dansby mm-hmm. here. Um, closet so many. work or what did you do? Right, yeah, closet, closet work. work. Closet he, work. Uh, you know, he puts California closets to shame. This is like literally. I've done a lot the of stuff, work. The closets that he yeah. creates are off Thank the you. chain. You know, um, Toya Wright. I'm sorry. No, uh, it's all right. Toya Wright. I, I've done work for. Um, did you do stuff for Candy? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, I, I love how to. you say not yet. Not yet. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a lot of people. I mean, it's JD. Okay. Um, did you uh, give him the so so deaf? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, so you got to put that. Uh, uh, Isaac, we make sure we get you that picture because the so so deaf picture. I'm like, Which I picture? think I want one of those in <laughs> my basement. It's. I mean, the, the the the. It literally, it's like this backlit sign, and it says so so deaf. You made that? I did. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Well, it's gonna have to say K A S I. I'm the one in right. I'm a, <laughs> she can make it happen. She can make it happen. <laughs> you get a whole bunch of business. <laughs> right, right. I got a lot of offers for that, you know. Um Who was the with the the baby the baby thing that you did for? The growth chart. Who was that for? Uh Tokyo Jets. She's okay. also another Atlanta uh, artist over here. Okay. Um so her uh and again, you know, so many people hear about me and my work or whatever. It's and because the word of mouth is I, your word of mouth. That well, again, that's how I think it all started with you know the trap museum. Again, how that all started. I remember I didn't get any work. It was a Friday, and I didn't get any work that day, right? And um, because I advertised my clauses on Offer Up, okay. Uh, you know, I get a call from a guy, right? And I don't know who it is, mm-hmm. you know, and say, hey, you know, can you give me a quote on this, you know, closet for tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I said, sure, why not? 10 o'clock Saturday morning, you know, we meet up. I uh, I went with my tape measure and everything, ready mm-hmm. to rock. And uh, I get there and uh, I see nothing but women walking around. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just, the music's going, it's mm-hmm. this huge place. And I'm, I'm like, what the world's going on here? Where but, am I at? Right, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, they made me sign an NDA. So oh, really? Yeah, and I'm like, man, so listen. So they're not going to kill us about this yeah, now, are they? No, no. So I'm like, listen, I'm just here to do a closet. With <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was just one of those things where, you know, it's all God, I feel, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. because... Right then and there, like all the lights went out in that place, right? And I was like, man, I'm not gonna stop this quick money, you know? Mm-hmm, so I mm-hmm. went out to my truck, you know, to go get some tools, cause mm-hmm. I'm ready to work. Mm-hmm. And when I go out, you know, I uh, I see these guys outside just talking and they, they say, oh shoot, here come tips right now. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, there's only one tip. So uh, I'm trying my best not to. Pee you on know. yourself, yeah. Well, I'm not, it's not that. <laughs> no, that I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to, you know, <laughs> uh, look all hard in his uh-huh, truck or uh-huh. whatever to see because the tent was dark. Uh-huh. And uh, I go to my truck and get my tools and I turn around and I was like, yeah, that, that's tip. So I got myself together. I said, let me go inside and introduce myself. Uh-huh. It's dark in that place, you know. So um, this was my chance to pull out my phone and act as if I'm, you know, somebody shining light, oh, but okay. I'm really recording. Oh, <laughs> ooh, look at you! And forget you signed people, an NDA. Well, no, it's fine. I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's all good. But um, he's fine. I, you know, I'll call him and talk to him tonight and let him know what's up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, it was just one of those things where, um, you know, I shook his hand. Shook, shook his hand. I introduced myself and. You know, he just told me, he looked in my eyes and he said, what's up, brother? He said, don't give nobody my phone number. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow, that was you that called me last night? And I was like, wow. You know, it wow. was just right then and there. So, you know, from there, I mean, I don't know, just uh, through his following, you know, so many people, mm-hmm. you know, just reached out to him maybe or whatever the case and may he's be. he's like, this is you the know, guy you need to contact. You know, I've done work for, again, you know, people all the way in New York to louisiana Mm -hmm. you know because you didn't you do did you did you drop something off for super right i dropped something off for super i did some work for remy ma um that's my girl you know i did a i did a lot of a lot of work and i'm steady developing i want to do more you Mm -hmm. know Mm -hmm. um 
a big friend of mine, John De La Russo, mm-hmm. you know, uh, he built actually, I mean, I'm sorry, he, he bought one of my second kennels. Uh, oh, okay. You bought my first. Actually, and you, I did? you bought my very first kennel, right? Are you serious? You bought my very first kennel. And I must say, you know, um, I was amazed, right? Those kennels that you saw, they weren't sold. I, I made them, but uh-huh. they, they never sold, uh-huh. you know? Um, they was just there for picture purposes right get um, out they hmm. I, I was learning it was one of those things where i'm learning uh-huh, right uh-huh. and um i was like here's my shot or whatever right be, because I actually i looked you up and i'm like yo this lady's somebody <laughs> right wait is this before <laughs> i bought the kennel or after this is uh or, no, this this is in the midst like okay. now, granted i made some kennels mm-hmm. but again they just sat they just sat okay they sat there right okay. so um it was just one of those things that my first purchase. Okay. You know? Got you. This mm-hmm. was you. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Um, so that's what it was. You you were my first, you know, purchase of the kennel. And uh, I just went from wow. there. I just went from there. That makes me feel some kind of way. Because he, I didn't, they're so amazing. They I'm just are. like, and I've been telling everybody that comes into my house, it's like, what is that? Did, is that for the dog? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, you're so bougie. No, I am, but that, I mean, no, I'm not, but. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, for real, you slip. Yeah, see, you should have told on the cell. <laughs> I'm cheap bougie. I'm frugal <laughs> bougie. But it's just, because it looks like a piece of furniture. And people right. are just like, it's so amazing. And then I have to follow it up. And it's Where a brother. That's right. That example. makes these. Right. But, um, so when we come back, we're going to talk about i i I will mention the uncle before it's all over with but we're going to talk about how we heard about chris when we were in paris yeah let's do it (laughs) and we'll talk about how cedar is frugal bougie (laughs) we'll see you on the on the back end y'all My name is Lexi, aka Lexi with the Curls, and I was one of the co-hosts today at Ditch the Band 2019, sponsored by the Puff Cuff. So I love the Puff Cuff because I can do quick little styles, and sometimes I just don't have enough time to actually fully do my hair, but this is like a whole style, and it literally took about six to seven seconds. So you can get so many different looks out of it, so I love the Puff Cuff for the versatility and for the different styles that I can do. I would recommend the Puff Cuff for anyone that likes a good, easy hairstyle. So whether you have long hair, short hair, and I love that also, if I were to use a band, one, it could create a lot of damage. Also, you can't really get it to be big and puffy. So I like having my hair like, I like it big. I want my puff to be big. And so this gives me that effect with that versus using like a rubber band. Hey, podcast family, this is Garrett and Sita of An Idea to Invention. And we're finished. with our nephew. <laughs> Chris Yoshi <laughs> Bailey. <That's> right. <laughs> no. <laughs> he is uh, the genius behind Endo Kennel and Yoshi Chipwood. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so he was giving us a good rundown of uh, the clientele that he has been uh, uh, building, for. building for over the past few years. And uh, um, I want to say one thing before he continues going down that that list, mm-hmm. and I, I always talk about how I'm always amazed about those who have a creative mind that mm-hmm. uses what is that right side of the brain or left side of the brain? I don't know. It's somewhere up there. But that side of the brain <laughs> that you can literally just look at something a blank slate, and without instruction, without anything else, it just comes to you. You clearly see how it should be painted, how it should be formed, how it should be put together. And when it's done, you leave folks in awe. Mm-hmm. And I want to say, I mean, that's exactly it. That's Chris and Sita was saying at the beginning, right? How, how he was born with it. You know, he was really born with mm-hmm. it. Um, because like with the whole Ikea thing, yeah, you can give him a whole bunch of instructions, but the brother ain't going to use it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can put something together from Ikea without the instructions, <laughs> you got a gift. Right, and by yourself. <laughs> and by <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to, you know, make sure you guys go out and check it, check him out on Instagram at um, at uh, at Yoshi Chipwood as well as uh, at Endo Kennels. 
um, and see his work and see what he can do for you. Right. Because we highly, highly recommend this brother. So. Right. Do you consider yourself, because to me, okay, do you consider yourself a craftsman, a woodworker, or what do you consider yourself? Uh, a builder for Jesus. Okay. Drop the mic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, That's my new title. Right, right. <laughs> Even though he's not supposed to destroy the earth by water again, but I know who's going to be building a boat if he changes his mind. There we go. <laughs> All right, so if you get that vision. Right, right. be like, um, where's Chris at? Right. <laughs> but um, so it was so interesting that this is just how famous this man is, is we're sitting in Paris. Um, um at the hotel restaurant in our hotel and I see out the corner of my eye another um, black woman who I feel like I've seen her before but I we knew we kn didn't know but then we found out that we were staying at the same host, host hotel as the natural hair convention natural hair academy I'm sorry right. which is one of the I guess like the one and only largest black natural hair show okay. in France so <clears throat> I, I saw her out the corner of my eye and I already had one drink, so I had my bravery going. <laughs> so I was like, Garrett, well, I'm going to go over and introduce myself. So I went over to her and because I, I didn't know, I couldn't figure out her name and I couldn't, I was trying to search on Instagram, right. but I was like, I know, I know her. So anyway, so I walk over to her and I said, I know you don't know me, but I know who you are. I'm Puff Cuff. And she's like, oh, Puff Cuff. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. She's like, yes, I know you. I'm Kinkastry. And she was like, I've been in your basement. Uh -huh. so, hmm. And we we're like, <laughs> wait, no, okay. I'm Puff Cuff. We're in France. I don't think you've been in my basement. <laughs> I'm a basement girl. Right. She's like, how does this? She's like, no, no, no. You know Chris. And I'm still like, I don't know who right. you're talking about. <laughs> this woman is having, <laughs> having a moment because I don't know who she's <laughs> talking about. But she's like, no, Chris built your barn doors in your basement and he showed me a picture. And now I built my honey's bar doors because I saw the pictures that Chris. So I've been in your basement. I'm like, Lord have mercy. We are all the way. In Paris. In Paris, France, finding another fan of Chris Bailey. Yep. So it was just like, okay, that speaks serious volumes right. of the talent that you have and what has what God has blessed you with. The fact that she could have been like, Oh, they know Chris. You know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she, literally she was like, I know you because of your the barn doors that Chris Bailey built for you. Right. That's awesome. I mean, Right, I mean, that's, that's the piece of the talent. Right. She hadn't tried no puff cuff yet, but she knew about the barn doors <laughs> that, that Chris Bailey had built. Oh, man. So tell us now, okay, because we know you're, you're um, kind of, you, you're, you're solidly, solidly in the building for Jesus stage. Right. Whatever project, basically, right. any person can think right. of, whether it's custom cabinets, custom table, um, custom closets kennels custom bookshelves whatever whatever, whatever. whatever. shoe racks whatever. right whatever. putting a Anything that's putting woodwork. A, putting a extra cedar on top of a pergola hanging up <laughs> so if it's wood i do it yeah i just put it just just like that right if it's wood i do it okay build it. so what do you see where do you okay what is your goal now what is the ultimate goal with um tell us about oh, kb wow. custom could Woodworks. Uh, the ultimate goal is definitely to go. <laughs> can I say global? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's definitely the ultimate goal for me. Um, definitely expanding, getting the help, getting you know branches all over the United States. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I can relax a little bit more. You mm -hmm. know, I, it's just been me doing this all along. You know. Um, it's it's been no help okay. you know so I, has it been no help because help is hard to find or good help is hard to find or don't know where to look or well what is the was what do you a think little bit of everything actually okay. but you know uh, just more of good heart, heart help is hard to find mm -hmm. you know um it's hard to find that that person that one person to you know do the exact same thing you do mm-hmm 
at a level that you do it. Right. You right. Know? Um, and whose heart is in it. Right. And being, I mean, you can always train. I can always train someone, but you know, I've gotten so busy to where, you know, I haven't really sat down to, to train someone, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but, uh, you know, one week I'm going to sit down and try to get someone and, and train them the way I do things. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, you know, with that, I can just keep, you have know, you prayed for that person? I have. Okay. I have. You and and it's coming. For that person. It's, it's coming. Mm-hmm. You know, it's coming. Yeah, it will. I mean, it definitely will. When, when, when the right time and the right person. Right. And somebody, because Lord knows, Garrett and I were like, we need some help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just, there. I, I definitely need the help. Um, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I just keep going. I keep pushing. I do it all for my little man here. Yes. Tell us about this little, little uh, chocolate, man. cute munchkin it's, on the know, table. That's my son Carter. And, uh, you know, five years old and already wanting to be like me is, uh, you know, hearing him say those words, you know, actually, you know, melts my heart. You know, it shows that I'm doing something right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, this guy, you know, when he's in the house with me in the shop, you know, he'll come out there, even though I don't really allow it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, he, he wants to come out there and play in the sawdust. Uh, he'll grab my pencils and put it in his ear. And I, put it behind know, his ear. Like, <laughs> what are you doing, man? It's, it's like I'm being like you. And I'm like, okay, you know. Um, this guy, uh, he's very, you know, uh, I don't know. He's curious about everything, mm-hmm. tools and, you know, um, I think he's gonna be my first helper, actually, if I keep pushing right, this way. Right, right, right. Um, definitely setting this foundation for him um, is going to, uh, I don't know, it's just gonna bring my last name out more. Right, that last right, name. right. Um, I think he's gonna take it to the next level if I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, I forgot, he built, if it, if, uh, any of you that were at Ditch the Band this year, he built the hashtag wall from oh, yeah. scratch. Yep. And Carter was there making me nervous as all get out. <laughs> and then what you handed him like a piece of cardboard, a couple of nuts and bolts, and then uh, uh, right, <laughs> he's guy. sitting down, literally taking the nuts and bolts and putting them through the cardboard. And t- I'm like, okay, that if that's somebody and, and screwing on the bolt on back, right. it's like if that's not somebody to want to be just like they daddy. <laughs> Carter, he, he's just, he's something. I love that kid. That's my guy. Awesome. That's my guy. Awesome. So a lot of this, I imagine, is for him. Mm-hmm. It's all for him, you know. Mm. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> He's just full. You're right. I'm just full. My heart is full. <laughs> um. So, l- do you have any projects going on now? Uh, yes, actually, I'm. Uh, I'm remodeling a fireplace with some shiplap wood. I'm okay, doing what some... is shiplap wood? Help me out. <laughs> it's more of just a, a wood plank. Uh, it has the space gapping in between uh-huh. uh, each each level, if I may say, uh-huh. as you go up the wall. Um, so I'm doing that. I'm doing a couple buildings. Uh, usually buildings are something that you see on the side of fireplaces, like cabinets. Oh, built-ins. Or... Okay, okay. Right. Um, so I'm doing that. Uh, that's mm. what's pretty much going on right now. It's a pretty big job. Okay. So, uh, I'm looking to be done hopefully Friday. Okay. Awesome. I have some built-ins that I want done too. Let's do it. I think I mentioned it to you. Let's do it. In the dining room. Garrett's like, God dog it. Let's do it. In the dining on that room. back wall, on that back wall. Mm-hmm. So when you walk in and behind the dining room table, if all of that's cabinet built-ins, because um. that, that wall is like not doing anything. And if we had all of that, but that'll take up some storage. space. It's I'm not even going to be that deep out because you know, like the built-ins on the side of the yeah. the fireplace, they're not that deep. Okay. All right. No. Oh, yeah. yeah you like we whatever. shall see. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'll, I'll put it off till till twenty twenty. You're like, okay, we. <laughs> We put me to work. That's that's right. I love it. That's I one of my boys it. this weekend said we tapped out. Oh, right, right. <laughs> they seriously tapped. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't tapping back in until <laughs> that's 2020. So um uh one thing we would say is oh we have the questions, right? So what is okay, what's your biggest challenge right now? 
in your business or did we go over that already? No, um, I, I put the biggest challenge, you know, on myself. You know, I'm I'm such a perfectionist, you know, uh, and I, I'm one of the people that sit and look at my job forever to figure out what I can make, what can I do to make this better, mm -hmm. you know, um, just the slightest things, you know, could have me, you know, having nightmares Obsessed at night. over, okay. Right, well, mm -hmm. I mean, I like, how can I make this better, you know, um, I don't like it, you know, if I don't like something, I'll, you know, I'll end up getting mad and ripping the whole thing down. Or I'll just sit there and just think. <laughs> you can't start from scratch. Right. No, right. What? Well, again, that's that's been one of my, you know, my things, you know, as far as scheduling and everything, uh -huh. you know, because I I'm, I, I overthink, which is okay, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I I just have to, you know, do better with my scheduling. You okay. know, being that I I am that professionist, I need to start allowing myself that that time, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, to. Uh, to say, hey, you know what? I allowed that that time in to I where built if it I, in. okay, right. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. So my thing is, I'm I'm always you know excited about seeing that that end product or the end finish, and um, something at the very end always like, man, uh, I don't like that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So then I end up you know, tweaking or right, whatever. and uh -huh. that and that takes time, you know. But uh -huh. I know I have a customer. You know that those are gonna be happy right, on the other end. Right. I forgot he built the shed in the back. There you go. He builds custom yeah. sheds too. Yeah. You gotta look at look at the pictures. He got everything on there. Yeah. You don't find so, a brother like this often. No. Mm -mm. Is this the, the last one? Nope. We got okay, one more. we got one more. Okay, cool. Um, what was I gonna ask you? Um, so where are you, where would you say you are in? Uh, in the lineage of of, uh, of of being an entrepreneur and having a small business, are you at the very beginning? Are you where where do you where do you feel that you're at? I definitely feel that I'm at the you know at the beginning, but you know as far as the feedback that I've been getting, you know I feel that the gates are, you know they're they're opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? So mm -hmm. I say I'm at the beginning. At, at the skill the skill that I have, you know those gates are going to open up you know, bigger than what they are right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm at the beginning. I, mm -hmm. That's that's where I feel, you know. Um, it's more to come with me. You know, I'm learning every day, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm still here at the beginning, you know. But my my skill is so pro, you know, to where you might like, man, this ain't no beginner. You right, know? right, um, right. This is just where I feel, yeah. you know. I'm, I'm only getting better. My thing is I, I, one challenge that uh, – that I would say that you, that you have, g given your skill set, and 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 the the level that your skill set is at, you trying to bring on additional help to allow you to perform at that same level, right? And understand that um, time is your most valuable asset, yeah, right? 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 And so y you you'll have to. You'll have to begin to get into a a mode of when you get a job, literally doing some pre some pre planning, pre thought, pre work, so that mm -hmm. that it matches what your perfectionist level is. is. Right. 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 So that when if you do all your pre planning and take however much time it takes to pre plan, your execution is right. exactly what you tell the client. I agree. And your input, I mean your output of the product is exactly what you want it to be, it be. So also and then you know your clients yeah. going to be happy so then what what, that what, extra time. what naturally happens is even though you do you have that extra time of pre-planning up front mm -hmm. your time to deliver from yes i'll do this to here you go begins to shrink and then as you as you begin to bring in people to assist you mm -hmm. you already begin to have methodology and things of things that you can say okay Here's how you do this, 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 and this. And this is what I need you to do. And then your time gets shorter and shorter. Mm -hmm. You bring in more people. Then that way, that relaxation piece that you want to get to, <laughs> as you Carter. grow, right. you, 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 you'll get there. Well, there you go. Well, that Again, that's why I say I'm still at that beginning stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm going to get better. It's going to get better. Oh, no. It, oh, it yeah. That's a given. That's, that's a, a given. total given. Yeah. So, um, 
When we come back, I want to talk about what makes you different from other builders. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll be right back with Eye to Eye. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Shine. Listen. I got a puff up in my hair and it's clear. It's clear. Try not to interfere with the facts I'm about to share. People love, love it. it. They love it because there's nothing to compare. And when something does appear, it's not real. It's a fake. Have no fear. Yeah. It works with dreads and works with curly hair. You won't go through the wear and tear of using men's. Oh, yes, I swear you might just have a love affair. And I'm not saying that you should be well aware that things might end up in your thoughts and in your prayers. Perfect ponytail, no stress, no pain, no holy grail. Tired of messing around with these bands, go take a hike, go hit the trail. The perfect ponytail, no stress, no pain, no holy grail. Yeah. Tired of messing around with these bands, go take a hike, go hit the trail. I wish you to hear, listen, and this one is clear. For all of you color hair people, we wanna see all that vibrant hair twinkle. Shine. Make up, fuck up, and done. done. This is the one who begun, the dreams that became, the bronze in the brain, the change in the game, the company name. The perfect ponytail, no stress, no pain, no holy grail. Tired of messing around with these bands, go take a hike, go hit the trail. The perfect ponytail, no stress, no pain, no holy grail. Tired of messing around with these bands, go take a hike, go hit the trail. Love you. Hey, Podcast Nation, this is Garrett here with my lovely wife, Sita, for Idea to Invention. As we're going to our last segment. And we're talking to. And we're talking to Chris Bailey. Single black man. <laughs> That's right. He's 33 years old. Yeah, Chris, he has a lovely you, son. She's putting you out there, man. That can build you the closet that you've always <laughs> dreamed of. I'm <laughs> just, uh, just putting it out there, right? I ain't signing for all that. Hey, <laughs> if love make you, hey, you never know. <laughs> you I'm going to over here. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. But, so. <laughs> Let's. Right, the question at hand. So, tell us what makes you different than other black oh, Sorry. Oh. Had nothing to do with See? it. I'm just See, that's what your brain was. <laughs> Tell us what makes you different than other builders. Uh, well, uh, I definitely have an eye for things. I feel that's what makes me, I can't say, that's that's not the key thing that makes me different. It gives you an edge? It, it does. It gives me an edge. You know, just like, you know, other builders, of course, you know, having an eye for things or whatever the case may be, what makes me different from them is I feel, you know, I'm one of these guys that can just look at something and just build it. You know, I'm I'm sure I'm not the only person that can do that. Mm-hmm. You're you the only the second um, one I've ever known. Terrence, no, Terrence, yeah. he can he can a frat brother of his. So yeah. you're the third. I, I, you know, and I'm it, we're both almost fifty, I so that doesn't happen very well, often. I'm weird, you know, when it comes to you know measurements, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I don't even have to explain this, you know. Uh, I don't know. I can just look at something and tell you what the measurement is. Okay. I put it that way. You're good at um, spatial, like putting space. Yeah, I'll just keep it together. that simple. Okay. I'll we'll just keep it that simple. But you know, I take complete pride in my work. You know, this is not taken away from any other builder. You mm-hmm. know, I'm sure any other builder would say the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel I'm different in you know ways of. You know, just knowing what that customer will want on a level mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. You know, I run into customers all the time and they'll ask me, you know, are you jotting this stuff down? You know, mm-hmm. or are you writing it down? I was like, no, you know, it's, it's all in here, mm-hmm. you know. And they're like, wow, really? And they can go on for days about stuff, mm-hmm. you know. And the fact that I can deliver, you know, and they were like, wow, it's like, oh, you remembered all that? Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, yeah, I'm weird in that way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. No, you're not weird. You're good in that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in all honesty. I appreciate it. So let me ask you this. is the end, I know you said the end goal is to be global. Right. Is it you traveling globally to build items for people? Or do you want a construction company? Do you want to build? So 
Definitely. Okay. Yes. Uh, definitely just having, you know, a set construction company, right, that uh, that has my different branches all over. Mm -hmm. As far as working with the celebrity clientele, you know, that's something, you know, that I want on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, you know, that's me wanting to travel and meeting mm -hmm. such different and such. Right. And, right, right, and, right. and just building for them. And, and putting and your stamp on yes. That is correct. Right. I built Blue Ivy's. There doll, you, you know, life-size treehouse in the backyard. Go. I built it. There you go. Exactly. I'm putting it out there. Blue, exactly. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carter, just in case you're looking for a treehouse for the twins in blue. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that phone call. I'm waiting. It's going to be a text. It's not going to be a phone call. I'm Either just way. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting. They know where they find me now. Right. I'm waiting. Right. So um, there was there was one other thing that we were gonna okay the offer yes oh yeah the offer was there something else we needed to talk about before this fabulous offer um no, that I'm a little jealous of that technically I shouldn't <laughs> take advantage <laughs> of <laughs> but <laughs> well okay well if it comes back to you we can okay. come back to it so okay. but but as far as uh, the special offer uh, that Chris is offering that um, if you book. A job with Chris between October 1st and October 31st of 2019. Yes, give them a year because right. we will. Yeah. There will be somebody that tries it. <laughs> you have to book between October 1st and October 31st of 2019, and you will get 10% off of off of your order. Off your if you mention if you mention this podcast. I'm sorry, my yes, bad. Yes. If you mention mention the podcast, idea to invention, and right? Podcast. Gotcha. Right. So you don't have to book your appointment. I mean, you don't have to have your work done between correct. no. You just have to book. October first and thirty first. But you just need to book and mention the podcast. And, right. Yep. And the two ways that you can contact him is via DM on his Instagram, and then if it's not there now, his email will also be um, on his both of his Instagram correct. channels. Right. Right. Um, so. Let's make it happen. Yes. Let's make it happen. Right. So when this airs, I want the phone just be. A <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to you. Right. <laughs> it's like take it. Right. All right. Can you take this call for me? <laughs> so, uh, two questions. Okay. What would you? What advice would you give an inventor or a small business? What would you oh. advise? for them to do and for them not to do? Well, of course the advice is, you know, definitely to, to keep dreaming, right? Um, definitely, you know, is it, are we just talking about this trade in general? No, no, we're, in general, we're talking about whatever. Uh, in general. Cause I was about to say, you know, definitely, you know, measure twice, cut once when it comes to So hair, don't cut it too short. <laughs> don't, <laughs> right. exactly. don't get caught too short. <laughs> you know, definitely, you know, uh, keep dreaming, yeah. you know, never stop dreaming. Um, that's, that's just like the ultimate thing. You know, if you have a vision uh, of anything you want to do, you know, you definitely want to keep that focus on it. You know, don't lose it. Just, just keep dreaming and, and it's going to happen. You know, yeah. that's what I did. Yeah. You know? What would you tell them? What would you advise a small business person not to do? Oh, man, I, you know, I had so many hiccups, you know, you learn from them, you know. So who am I to say, you know, my, my things are different from theirs, yeah. you know, um, and it's a learning thing. Um, never stop learning. Yeah, never stop. Never give up. I put it that way. Um, just never, just never give up. Because oh. I, I would I would say that you are a um, you you reiterate something that that we say all the time is that um, if you focus and and you do your due diligence within your passion within your gift right doors will open for you mm -hmm. That's correct. and it, and it, it won't seem like a job this is something that you love to do mm -hmm. that is very true I mean. For those who will be purchasing your services, they will see that every time you're in, when you start working, you are in it. Mm. That there is, <laughs> the, the, and have some Kool Aid. Right. Yeah. You better have something to drink. Right. Ha, no, not drink. Just some red Kool Aid. Kool -Aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take some water, but you got some red Kool Aid. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a good <laughs> glass of Kool-Aid. I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, the, I mean, but that that is, you know, you... God has made provisions for you because you've worked into your passion, mm-hmm. right? Into your gift, right? This is definitely yep. my purpose. I feel right, and, earth, and yeah. so that just that makes it uh, that just takes it to a whole nother right. level, right? And 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 all the dreams and the desires that you have will come to fruition. Yep, yep. because you got Him at the center and yep. at the forefront of everything that you're doing. That so is very true. So I would say, brother, just keep on, keep on, keep on cutting. Don't cut too short. Measure twice. <laughs> cut right. once. That is right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and the work will keep on coming. Put me on your schedule before all the folks. <laughs> I got start, you. As y'all can see, Cedar's only thinking about phone, Cedar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I look, look. I, I, I suggest him all the time. Because even Stephanie got Stephanie got a kennel for a Wrigley. Did she really? For that big old dog. Yep. She really? Sure did. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So look at that. I just, you know, I just need my self taken care. But again, we thank you so much for coming thank and you. chatting with us, thank Chris. Thank you. You're you so welcome. Find him on Instagram yep. at Yoshi it, Yoshi Chipwood and Indo Kennel, mm-hmm. and then um, either message him or DM, DM. him yep. to and talk about the podcast so you can get your ten percent off on yeah. your next project. That's right. Before the end of 2020. Let's make it happen, people. Right. Yep. And other than that, I think we're done. I think we're done. All, All right. right. So, so we going to. Another podcast in the books. Right, right, <laughs> right. So, uh, and you are local to a, to the Atlanta area. Yes, yes. But you do travel. But I do travel. So that little truck, white truck be going, man. <laughs> 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 Let's so, make it happen, guys. Right. Thank you so much. Thank so you. we like we tell everybody. Take care. Be blessed. And be a blessing. Thank you so much. See y'all. Cedar and Garrett from eye to eye.